Now, this week, Apple announced new technology that will limit the amount of time we spend on our phones. Maybe they're finally realising their iPhone monster could be having an effect on people's behaviours, their mental health and their brain chemistry. It's wrecking lives, personal relationships, creating stress, anxiety and loneliness in both the young and the old. Teenagers who just used to get bullied in the playground now get bullied and taunted every day online. There's evidence that they, all of us, talk less to each other, mix less, have sex less and have fewer conversations because we like our phones better than we like people. We check them incessantly even when we're with someone else. Our ability to socially interact, which has taken millennia to develop, has been stunted by those little screens and is pushing us back into shells from which some may never emerge. Yes, the smartphone looked like a wonderful experiment, but no one knows the final outcome and what the effects of them will be. But so far, it isn't looking good. Time for a digital detox? <laughs> So I think that's a very interesting opinion. I think Apple might have something to, to say. Should we just quickly start with looking at what Apple, um, what they regard their mission statement as, because we're talking very much about the, mm -hmm. the smartphone. So if we look at Apple's mission statement, for example, what they say is Apple's re revolutionised personal technology with the introduction of the Macintosh in 1984. Today, Apple leads the world in innovation and empowers people with breakthrough services, including the App Store, Apple Music, Apple Pay and iCloud. <laughs> Apple's more than 100,000 employees are dedicated to making the best products on earth and to leaving the world better than we found it. So that would be their view, I imagine. However... <laughs> so, so the money they make is irrelevant? Yes. Well, there yes. you go. Yes, but they're just doing everyone good. I um, agree wholeheartedly with you. I'm quite an old-fashioned individual and I think it's quite sad how addicted people are to their telephones mm. and how... Um, little people seem to be able to have proper interactions with yeah. each other. And there's a, a former Facebook exec, and I found there's a really interesting interview that he did where he's actually saying, and I'll quote him, he says that he feels that within Facebook they created tools that are ripping apart the social fabric of how society works. Yeah. I think that's very strong, but I think it's very accurate. I feel that technology, and I work in technology, and I, I believe it's a force for good in many cases, but I think that the addiction that we see, it is tragic. I've just been on holiday, as I said, and I was shocked by how many children... You go to the restaurants and be, the children mm. are just sat down. There's a, um, a computer, there's a tablet, there's a phone. They don't even talk to their parents. The parents are not stimulating the kids. They're just plonking phones down. And it's but it's interesting. Fun. It's interesting listening to Apple's mission statement there. It was two of Apple's biggest investors five or six months ago who told, who wrote an open letter to shareholders and told them that they had, they wanted some research done on the, on the effects that had on mental health because they said this wasn't just good business sense. It was the right thing to do. But there is now there are lots of psychologists and psychiatrists putting stuff out there. There's a, there's a, a lady called where's she gone? It's gone. A, yes, and they called Jean Twenage, and she's the author of I Glenn and a professor. professor of psychology at San Diego State University. She says teenagers, and it's teenagers that worry me the most, who spend five hours or more a day on electronic devices are 71% more likely to have a risk factor for suicide than those who spend all less right, than one I hour a day. Can I come in? say something? I want to... <coughs> You're going to defend it, I want obviously. To defend that, yes. You're on it all the in, time. Uh, yeah, defending your husband as well, who's always on his Who's got two iPhones, <laughs> right. yes. Now, I've got to say, right, I've got a different way of looking at these things. Whereas before, you would pick up a newspaper... You would pick up a pen. Yeah. You would pick up an A to Z. You would pick up... You would go to the bank. Uh, you would go to the fax machine. Mm -hmm. You would pick up a remote control and you would turn on the television. Uh, and you would have a separate camera. Yeah. All that's happened is all of those separate and distinct functions have been put into one that's device. That's not what's happened. So why it feels like we're going back to this more no. and more, why it feels like addiction, is because what we're doing is using those same functions, but instead of going in separate directions, we're, go we're going to one evidence, device for them. Lots of evidence no? out there. Massive big surveys <coughs> of states currently saying yeah. that teenagers talk less, date less, 
have sex less, which m maybe no bad thing, um, but they party less. And what the only thing that's increasing gonna, is their yeah. loneliness so and their to, social isolation. Allow me to, on, on that note, I do concede that teenagers, they are showing these, let's call them Terrifying. symptoms, right? I think the problem here is when I describe it in terms of services and not the actual addiction to the device, it's one of the particular you can't services separate I the just two. described. But you can't separate on, the two. That they're addicted to, and that is social media. And so yeah. if we were to hypothetically remove social media from the picture, the device itself, the phone, as when it's used for GPS, when it's used as a camera, when it's used as a phone or a television, yeah. isn't necessarily addictive. What makes it addictive it, is the feedback loop. It sort of is, because if you're watching media. TV on there, yeah, usually definitely. people watch yeah. TV in a family. You don't always watch TV on your own. I mean, <clears throat> you know, we're talking... It, it is kids that worry me the most. Yeah. It, there is evidence that it's, it's actually affecting their brain patterns. So, so the, the things that they're doing as teenagers, yeah. it sets their yeah. behaviour for adulthood. Yeah, and right. if, what they, if this is what they do for many, many hours in a day, Day. That's how they're going to be. Is that, it, yeah. As I said in the end, it took us millennia. What makes us human beings is I the think, way Greg, we communicate. the jury's out on the evidence, isn't it? And this is... Well, well there's, 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 the, there is. There's lots of evidence. Yeah. Can we come in? Um, I don't think there's enough research being done. I, I was at the university thing recently and asked the people who were involved in health and said, well, and they say that there's a lot more research needs to be done. I quite like some, you know, Simon Cowell. Yes, fam has famously, he's yeah, done well, it without, he's gone without it for 10 months. He's gone without it for 10 months. Mm -hmm. I love the, what he said, he said he's limited the time his four-year-old is allowed to spend on the iPad. Yeah, yeah. Instead, yeah. he'd like to watch television. And I think, well, actually, we when, I, the same when thing I go back television. 20 years yeah. ago, that's what yeah, they yeah. said about, I mean, I always remember leaving London Weekend Television and going walking in Crete mm. with this wonderful old lady who was the, the guide, and we, lay, we all slept out in the open one night, and she said to me, Greg, has television been for the good of mango? <laughs> oh, I yeah, we're not sounding a bit like Luddites. Yeah, here. and I just yeah. basically said, it doesn't matter, it's yeah. here, it's not going to change. And I think it's the same here. We've got to find out how to adapt to, the, to these things. I personally, I, I got mine... There goes my mic. I've got mine. I love it. Yes, I mean, I know and they're good for us. And, but, you know, I look at people that I know and I think it's changed the way we socially interact with Rachel. each other. Rachel. I remember my husband said to me, quoting that famous Diana thing, there yeah. are three of us in this marriage, yeah. you, me and your iPhone. Yeah. And I think we're all having affairs with our smartphones to a certain, to a certain greater and lesser extent. And I think we need to manage that. And the statistics are that 91% yes. of us have a mobile phone and that 30 Four percent of adults look at it five minutes. That's the social five media. Five minutes. Well, that's the social media, right? No, the they thing. look at yeah. their phones. You're yeah. not. It's not yeah. necessarily. I don't look at it's social it. media. Can I, I just look say? At, I look at Twitter to see um, what's happened. One of the things I loved is Arwa Mahadawi wrote a column in the Guardian responding to this Simon Cowell stuff, and I actually really think she made an insightful point, and it's worthy of consideration. And that is that Simon Cowell can afford sure. to put his phone down. Uber okay. drivers right? can't. Uber drivers can't. Yeah. Deliver right. yeah. Deliveroo deliverers can't. Yeah. And and I think there is something to that as well, which is that you know if you want to get hold of Simon Cowell, you're going to physically, if you need him in the music industry, you're going to actually run over neighbourhood blocks and knock on his door to get hold of him because you have to get okay. hold can of I, him. Can well, I just show you guys a, a little clip of yourselves on your phone <laughs> today? Yes. Have a look at this. Oh, no, it's me. <laughs> Oh. Now, here we go. Uh, there's Majid. Yep. Uh, so on it, and as soon as I walked in the studio, there's Rachel yeah. on Earth straight away. I was texting away. my son because he had a job interview. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no. that... And every week it's saying the, well, the, the there, biggest I'm criminal not. of all of this is Afwa because she's on it. She's oh, on oh, it like true. three, three yeah, seconds true. before I the phone stops. You we were in the break. Busted. I just saw you. You were in the break. Yeah. And the only reason so, mine's in is because I was told to bring it in. You, you mentioned, like, Luddites. You said that we're all sounding a bit like Luddites. I'm not a Luddite. I work in technology and I do believe technology is a force for good. Tell us. Well, I've done technology transformation in organisations for many, many years where I've gone into organisations and looked at how can you leverage technology to do things better and differently. Okay. I'm now involved with a new crypto project, so a new financial services business. Um, so I'm passionate about technology and what that does. But I don't think it's Luddite-ish to f express a concern mm. about how it is. And that Facebook exec, former Facebook exec, mm. sums it up for me when he says it's changing the, so the, yes. the fabric Clearly. of society. Social media. And it is, is. yeah, I agree with you. But, but so did yeah. television. Yeah. So did radio before it. Yes, but, but the television, is, it's, this is, but the phone's become part of our ID. It's a digitalised yeah. version of us. And you said it before, it has conversations on it, it has all our personal details on it, it has our banking yeah. stuff on it. It has become an extension of us, to the point where you really believe you can't live without it, If you it, were to take social crazy. media off it, would you be less concerned? 
Because my thesis is it's mainly the Twitter. No, I, 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 agree, I agree with that. I yeah. think the, I would like to see a lot more research done on, particularly on kids, on what impact social media has. Because I've watched younger kids yeah. and, and some of their behaviour is quite worrying.